Floyd Gale. Oh. Oh, awesome. Uh, so coming up next, we've got Magic Jack. Get up, Magic Jack! Good evening, fellow poets oh. and writers oh. and citizens of San Marcos. Oh. How many people here are actually from San Marcos? Hey. How many people here are from someplace else? Everybody else. <laughs> Everyone up on this side of the room is from Austin or Victoria. beyond Victoria. Yeah. We come from long distances to be here with you folks, or as they say here, all y'all. Because this is the happening place. It's more happening than anything that's happening in Austin today. Because if there was something happening in Austin tonight, we would be there. <laughs> so we're here. And let's make it happen. All right, so this is about the spark of madness. I wrote this for the Austin Writers Roulette Sunday, but I'm going to read it to you today. A spark of madness that was never expected, what became of the innocent child, the angelic son. In the process of becoming, in the precious offending, what forces are working that we cannot see to be making the rising sea of madness in thee. Some return, broken legs, arms, skull injuries, but it is the tram of the soul and the heart that strikes deep, damage is done, carried through life, passed through genes, a wave of madness, a wave of fear, a wave of distress. There are forces at work within and without. My distressed, distressed brother could not reconcile. He was born different, knowing he could not fit in like the others, comfortably, smoothly as they, but he could amuse. And when he was out of jokes, he took to the road, disappearing. Madness was driving him. His devils followed him. War is madness, a madness that is more than sparks. Those sparks beget fire, and fire consumes all before it. And all that lies before its way is destroyed. How do good men allow the insane to command them? Where are the firemen to scrubs the crazy sparks that have gone wrong? And there is war inside as well. Inside the mind, affecting the heart and the soul. Tortured both day and night, past being tempered, Insanity is a mind out of control, living outside of borders. Some are attracted to the strange light of mad sparks and flames, but they are more hellfire than sunshine. Thank you. All right, thank you. All right, so coming up next.
And what I have not seen is a dream that is yet to be born. It's being born inside this room tonight, which is somewhat like a sauna. It's sort of like the sweat and perspiration of people thinking, well, uh, I don't agree with that, but it's important to actually entertain the notion that we have divergence in different thoughts. When I put a thing on Facebook, I put the Syrian baby that was dying as a way of asking people to come and bring your opinions to this reading. And I got a response saying that was inappropriate. It's inappropriate to mention the world we're actually living in because it's not the world we began with. In the Eden, they say, they tell us that the tree brought forth the pomegranate of temptation. Well, like Oscar Wilde, I love temptation. In the world we live in, which is a closed system, all the borders are broken. And all the people that they wage war upon become people like us, refugees who are stolen tongues. The languages and culture of indigenous are historic now because we talk about them as if else we romanticize the obvious. We talk about Henri Rousseau as he takes those beautiful distractions. But we are breathing the same air. And the air at San Marcos doesn't necessarily have the fluoride in the waters of Austin. And the air in San Marcos might just have small little buds and blossoms. It could be a garden or a place where we, legal or no, are allowed to glow. And this is not a hypothetical situation. This is why I need you to see. Think of it like a jigsaw piece. The full picture is only revealed when all the pieces come together. And step by step, word by word, idea by idea, we're starting to listen to each other. All right, thank you, Tom and Magic Jack. And coming up next, we've got Magic Jack. The regular Magic Jack. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, so I tried a little experiment tonight. I was listening very closely to what everyone was reciting and reading up here. Right. And I tried to make something out of that. Whoa! So, uh, you might uh, recognize some of your stuff coming through here. Um, especially the crap part. There's a lot of crap to that. Hey! You're right. Hey now! I know, I mean, they were using the word crap oh. and they didn't know oh, okay. PCs but and things like that. But there's bowel movement. Bowel movement. There was a lot of that. Uh, it's been a bad week for a lot of people, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to get more regular folks. <laughs> Angry expectations parents made, forcing those peanut butter sandwiches with too much jelly. <laughs> Love is like a river, rising, flowing. Hellfire or sunshine, are they not choices? Bloody and on the ground, I wonder and I long for my family. I'm cloudy with doubt. Look after my family. Honor my sacrifice. Why do boys proclaim love and then abuse women? <laughs> Against lockers. Hardness of heart is not manhood. The, nomi the dominatrix <laughs> responds with high heel. And retribution. Mostly if you ask for it and say please. Poetry as a bowl, bowel movement. <laughs> Maybe it's a long sitting. Maybe it's a three flusher day. <laughs> Trying here. <laughs> Free speech shall not be censured. Corporations, plantation masters, veterans have earned the right to crap. <laughs> to have liberty to crap. To have the right to crap, he said. Terminated for poetry? What the F? Injustice. Best can write crap if they choose. <laughs> Drink deeply of water, of self renewal. Mm -hmm. uh, 
To sit a while, I plead, but not too long, because I need to pee. <laughs> Time is short for us. You are a doorway to my heart. And feelings of bliss. Hesitant because of heavy baggage from past journeys, my finger is torn. Your lips, don't worry. Dive deep into deep spiritual rivers. I got the flow. <laughs> Too much bullshit, deception, proof. Too much crap. <laughs> I sail into the flow, you know. Man says, find the source. The earth will be restored. How are you doing? Weapons are hidden underground. Are religions all the same? Time and illusion? Babies and graves? They have the bombs. Our parents hid under desks. I live in fear. I get high with lonely women. The boss man, I tell him I tried. But what I need, you can't provide. Thank you. Um.
It's burning up in here. Turn on the AC because my atoms are moving and generating heat. But that's my heart because it's beating so fast because I have to get to that class to get that hat, to get that paper that says, well, now I can. And that paper will be who I am. The degree is high and I'm in the flames. One must know there's no shame in education, but their education does not make them. The grades do not make them. They are essentially the same person as a man on the street laying on the dirty pavement who essentially has a degree, degree in psychology to make a black man for the white man's burden. To outsmart someone who got a certification of their debt to pay off by working for some house corporation, some corporation won't, that won't even bother to dust off his name on the plaque on the wall or his name scribed in the pavement. The pavement meant to be bulldozed by another corporation. The corporation that outsmarted theirs in that situation. In that situation, we hope it's not us, but someone of no close relation, because then we will have this heated situation of wanting a tunnel on the AC when we can't even pay the rent. <laughs>
poetry by Barton Springs, a Native American, was doing the story of the white buffalo and what he said was this, all water, like all people, is one. And when it comes down to specifics, Barton Springs is part of Comal Springs, is part of the Springs of San Antonio, which are capped by the Catholics, so they're not only wild and free. And every spring, every spring is connected to subterranean like we are all connected in the great supra -conscious. We may be air creatures, but we're also war creatures, water creatures. We came from the sea and we will sometimes have our ashes go back on the waves. But in between, we drink in this water of inspiration. The waves remind us that we are ancient creatures as well as modern. That mural has survived because it was secret and shared amongst the tribes. The other thing he shared was that the Native Americans learned from the deer. They watched where the deer went because the deer knew where the water went. So they had the deer as an icon. They had water as a truth. You have poetry, which is a flowing inspiration in you. And the mural, the mural is not stuck on the wall somewhere. It's in every word you've heard and remembered this evening. It's in every inspiration that we can take home, like a takeaway. The shares of archaeological people from the three lands of this evening. Wherever you go, whatever version you have, like Rashomon or the usual suspects, we're all going to see this evening differently. We'll all have our different versions. But what we have is the flow of our being together. What we know is that we don't.
Alright, thank you, Magic Jack. You know what? You're kind of like that kid in the classroom. It's always kind of like testing the boundaries. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Testing yeah. the rules. See what you get away with. You yeah. found me up. Yeah, I got my eye on you. <laughs> I don't have this one memorized. I wrote it not too long ago. It's my second happy poem, first love poem. Oh, oh that's in the room. <laughs>
immersion process reason for despondent existence. Damn the estuary where the cerebral tidal waves write depressions. Rebound the quill that lowers the spirit into despondent deposition that impregnates the fibers in tick engorged body bagpipe deposits. Resound bowels into vowels, regurgitated acquiescent acquisitions talk. Rat tat, rip tat, blues character in heartbeats without rooted purpose. Gravel to be moan, acquisition, vibrations having nothing but woe to behold, to be not the stranglehold supposition. Harry ravens cry forevermore forlorn. Shiver quick, silver suffocation. Reflections that drown within the ink well stains. Thank you. Alright, thank you. And moving along, we have. Yeah, the crowd has kind of. <laughs>